All right, guys, welcome back to another Whitetail Weekly. Today, we're gonna put together one of these Radix blinds. Been having a lot of people ask questions on how they go together, how the cover works, and things like that. So today, we're gonna show you. Uh, my dad is back here, so is my buddy Carson. Uh, we've got it kind of laid out here. It comes in three different boxes. Uh, there's kind of a big box. It's got the main part of the tower in it. Um, and there's a medium-sized box. It's got the cover and a few other things for the blind in it. And then the extensions to make it the 10-foot tower are in the other box. You get three boxes. They all fit in the back of your pickup. So it's pretty easy to transport around and stuff like that. So we've got it all laid out here. And the first step is putting the base of the platform together. So we're going to do that now. Okay guys, so step one, obviously follow your directions, comes with them. But the first thing you put together is a platform. There's some support systems here in the middle. Just go off of your instructions, tells you what bolts to use, and uh, go from there. First step, put the platform together. <laughs> Okay, step one is accomplished. We got the base here done for the platform with the three support bars. And the next thing you gotta do is put these pieces on right here. And that's what's going to be the support for your legs. Your legs are gonna go in here to get your five and 10 foot tower. So we're gonna do that now. All right guys, we've moved on to the next step, which is putting the ladder platform on. So you attach this piece here, tighten it down, and then this here, definitely follow your instructions step by step. Because we tried to skip this part once and go straight to the legs. It doesn't work, you gotta do this first. Make sure that's tight, Carson. No messing around. Once you have your ladder platform installed, then you're gonna put your handrails on so you can help yourself get up into the blind. Next step is putting the legs on to start with your five foot tower. If you're going to keep this as a five footer, um, you can keep it like this and just put the little feet on the end. Uh, we're going to put those in now. If, we're going to make this one the full 10 foot so you guys can see how to do that. And that's what we want when we're going to go put this one out anyway. But right now we're going to start building it as a 5 foot configuration and we'll move on to the 10. Okay guys, now we have legs on with the first support systems here. The next part we gotta do is put a, another support system here for this platform that's gonna go up to here. And that's gonna be able to allow you to put another support all the way around here. So we're gonna do that next. Okay guys, so if you're gonna do the five foot configuration, you're basically done at this point. Um, what you would do is right up here on this, if you can see, uh, you would have another support system that would go across here. You would put little feet right in this deal here and you would basically be done um, at that point. But with the 10 foot, what Dad and Carson are doing here, you have to add your next extension before you put all this together here or it won't work because the bolt going through here is going to prevent this from going down in there so that's what you're doing now so just make sure when you're following the directions you know if you're going to do the five foot or ten foot configuration because if you follow the five foot instructions 
that bolt is going to make sure that you can't put this extension on. You got to put those extensions in first. All right, guys, we've about got this thing whipped. Carson's over here tightening things down. Dad's here tightening things down. One thing I wanted to make sure you guys know is when you're putting the support crossbars in, you want to make sure that you have one on the outside and one on the inside. You can see this one's on the outside here. And this one is on the inside here. It just makes it so that where they X right here in the middle, they're not binding on each other and uh, makes it a lot better. So yeah, tip of the day. We've officially got the tower done in the 10 foot configuration. Uh, we're actually gonna put this on a trailer and haul it out to where we're gonna put it. Uh, we're gonna just kind of drag it outside for now and then we're gonna build the blind in here. And we're actually gonna try to put the blind on top of the tower out in the field once it's done. We're gonna try to kind of pull it up with a pulley system. Might be interesting. We're gonna give her a try, see how it works anyway. So tower goes up pretty easily, especially you got a couple people with you to help and uh, they're pretty awesome. Five and 10 foot. We did this one in the 10 footer. Now we're gonna put the blind together. Good. All right, we've got the tower moved outside. So now we started building the blind. Um, you can, if you're going to build this on top of the blind, what you would do is lay out this frame exactly how it's kind of laid out here, but on top of the blind itself and then bolt it to it. But we're going to kind of make them two separately and then put them together in the field. Um, Carson's already got one started here, one of the support systems on this. You basically guys just follow the instructions. That's, that's the biggest thing. This blind's pretty easy to do. Um, you just follow the instructions, everything is labeled out for you. So I'm going to set up a time lapse here and do a time lapse. I was putting this together and we're going to head out to the field and get this thing set up. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm standing inside this Radix blind. We just got it set up. I couldn't film a whole lot of setting it up and everything because it took all three of us to get this done. Um, I'm just putting all the Velcro straps on the inside. As you can see, I'm going to turn this around here. You attach the cover to the blind in several different points all throughout the blind with these little Velcro strips. It works great. Uh, like I said, we're inside the blind here. Um, the material of this stuff is awesome. It's actually insulated. So it's two layers of material with insulation in between. Um, you've got your horizontal windows here for a gun. You can shoot a bow out of them as well. They're big enough. You've got your vertical windows like here, got your vertical windows here for shooting a bow out of for sure. You can shoot a gun out of them too, obviously. Um, but yeah, we got her set up, um, getting real close to done here. When I jump out of here, I get it all kind of figured out and everything put together here inside. I'll jump outside and show you what it looks like from the outside as well. Okay guys, that's a wrap of this Whitetail Weekly. Got the Radix blind sitting up here overlooking this awesome looking food plot. I'll turn this around so you can see. Got a great looking food plot right here. We just planted, it's gonna start growing. We do have a feeder over there, but it will be moved here shortly in the next week or so. Overall guys, these blinds are really not that hard to put together. For the money, they're absolutely awesome. $800 to $825 depending on your dealer. They're awesome guys. This is in a 10 foot configuration. This is gonna be great. Uh, they are perfect for the areas where you don't have a tree. And as you can see back here behind me, I do not have a single tree anywhere that I can hang a stand in to be able to hunt this plot to the right winds. Problem solved with the Radix. So hope you guys learned something today. It's a little bit hard to film, kind of putting these things together without making a video two hours long. But uh, hope you guys figured out something and this will maybe make you wanna buy one of these and. Put them up. Like I said, for the money, I think they're absolutely awesome. Check them out, guys. The Radix Monarch Blind.